amazing. Hi, Emily. Hi, Becky. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks I am, for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I am yeah. so happy to be here with Emily King today. I'm happy to be here. This is awesome. Emily's one of our preferred vendors as a photographer, um, and this is our second Carriage House Conversations. I'm so happy I'm the second. I know. <laughs> um, Emily is just, as you can see, just a light. When, uh -huh. when you're coming for a day of photography, it just makes me so happy. Thanks. As Thank all you. of our preferred vendors. Yeah, I mean, you have a good lineup. We do. Yeah. They all make me so happy. Yeah, absolutely. But I love seeing your smiling face all the time. Thank you, Becky. I love being here <laughs> and seeing you. And today we're sitting in the bridal side on the beautiful white couch that has remained pretty much white for almost six years now. And I've seen lots of girls on this couch yes. with lots of drinks and somehow it is as white as can be. It has been, <laughs> it has been thoroughly professionally cleaned once. But other than that, it's been spot cleaned and hasn't yeah. required much. So that's amazing. It is. It looks good. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's dive into it. So Emily, um, Emily has a husband who is part of her photography t team, Kyle. But we I didn't do. invite Kyle today. We just wanted a girl's, <laughs> a girl's conversation. So um, talk about uh, your photography with Kyle. Yeah. And... So Kyle and I started our business, well I started Emily King Photography about 15 years ago and then brought Kyle on maybe seven years ago, eight years ago. Um, and it's good. We make a good team. We do make a great team. Yeah. It's really it, like we can tell what each other's thinking without having to say anything, which is really crucial on a wedding day. Um, yeah. And I, I read their faces a lot. <laughs> they have great Great communication through their eyes. <laughs> we do. We make lots of faces. <laughs> um, but I think that that's like with any vendor. You want to be able to mm -hmm. communicate without saying a lot and, mm -hmm. you know, remain professional, but mm -hmm. get the job done. Mm -hmm. And Kyle and I are really able to do that. We've pounded in those skills. And yeah. So. I know. And we do that too. When, when you're here, if I need you for something, yeah. I know that I can look at you guys and be like, and you know what I'm talking about. Same yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You work with someone for so long. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why we love working with you guys. <clears throat> I feel like you need, you need a good team of vendors that can communicate like that mm -hmm. on a wedding day. So. And I always say to brides, now this is our preferred vendor list. You're not required to use these vendors, but we love them so much. Um, we don't get anything from vendors. We don't get a kickback or anything. We honestly do love them so much and you can't imagine how much smoother your day is going to go when it's the people who are so respected and come here all the time it it just makes the day so much easier absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely we feel the same about coming here it's just we know that the day is going to run smooth and everybody's going to be happy and mm -hmm. yeah things will go a lot easier when you have a good team of vendors to work with so, um, you grew up in Mentorsville too, correct? I did. Right? Yeah. Kyle and I actually met, I think, when I was in ninth grade. Did you really? We did. <laughs> have you been together since then? No, okay. I have Apparently. not. <laughs> <laughs> but we, um, yeah, we met when I was in high school and then I went to college for photography and came back here to open up my business and yeah, that's when Kyle and I started. I didn't know you went to college for photography. I did. I went to college. Um, so you're legit. I'm legit. <laughs> I'm legit professional. Um, I went to school for photography in Philadelphia. Um, it was a great experience. I love the city. Um, but yeah, I'm back here and I love the small hometown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I wanted to like randomly ask questions, but I found out with Cassidy, I couldn't do that because I forgot everything <laughs> I wanted to ask afterwards. So I had to, um, write these down perfect so ask away so how long have you been shooting weddings so I feel like I started my first I did my first wedding probably at the age of 16 Wow yeah so I don't want to divulge too much on how old I am <laughs> but that's almost 20 years ago Wow um, so professionally 15 years but 
much longer if you count the time before that. Do you have any idea how many weddings you've shot? Oh my God, hundreds if not more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we shoot about um, probably 30 to 40 each year and that's now. Um, before we were even doing more than that, there were some years where we would do 40 or 50 a yeah. weddings a year, so yeah. Where's the furthest you've gone for a wedding? Oh, we've been all over. We've been to Chicago, um, Florida, the Dominican. Um, we're always in New York and Philly, DC. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. How would you describe your photography style? That's a good question. So um, as far as weddings go, I have a very candid style. I really like to keep things casual and let the couples enjoy their day mm -hmm. and not be this director of be here do this come here I like to keep it candid and capture those moments yeah. in between so that they can really just enjoy and have fun that's nice yeah because I've seen the opposite too I'm yeah. sure you have and the couple might want that the couple might not know absolutely. what they want and they might want to be directed so I mean there's something for everybody absolutely absolutely but yeah that's our style yeah um, the next question is irrelevant. Is this your full-time business? Sure is. It is. Kyle's too. Um, oh, and this thing, um, I was curious, do you typically shoot the engagement photos? Ooh. Yeah. Um, I do usually shoot the engagement photos and those are a lot of fun too because I always tell our couples to make it about you. Like, mm -hmm. do something that you guys would normally do. If you like to go for a hike, let's go on a cool hike. If you like to go out to eat or like to wander in a city, let's do that. Yeah. Um, so it's cool because we get to see, you know, the personalities of our couples really come out. When you do engagement photos, do you often travel for those? You do, yeah, yeah. a lot, yeah. Well, and you know, like a lot of your couples come from right. all over. Mm -hmm. um, so we do, we have couples who are coming from New York and Philly and yeah, we'll go there. Yeah, that's yeah. neat. Yeah. Um, this is a good question because mm -hmm. we see these signs a lot. Do you mm -hmm. allow other people, as in guests, to take photos while you are taking photos? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> I do. Um, I see it a lot. A lot of the times for weddings, you'll see it. They'll have like a sign saying, please put your phones down for um, the ceremony or please let our professional photographers do their job. Um, but I'm really good about Uncle right. Joe button in and, yeah. and wanting some photos. Yeah, I think that that's the whole reason I got into this is because I do realize how important photos are. Right. And I do realize that people want to remember these moments. Yeah. And that's probably more the bride's decision than a photographer's decision anyway. Yeah. 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 So. Um, do you have any meal requirements on the wedding day? Ooh, that's a good one. And talk about the meals at Herman and Luther's. What we provide as a vet to the vendors. Listen, <laughs> Kyle and I like to eat. We love a good meal. And uh, yeah, I feel like Herman and Luther's is the hands down the best that we've had. And we've been to some awesome venues in, in Philly, New York, where they're serving, you know, what what you would think is a very high class meal, but it doesn't even compare to what we have here. That's what we think. And yeah, you guys just take care of your vendors. Yeah, you? we do like to take care of the vendors. We set up a little, a table specifically for them with a sign that has a little heart on it. We have a yes. yes, you guys are so sweet to your vendors. We've yeah. been we've been pushed into the back of kitchens before and given a turkey sandwich, which. Of course, we're still grateful for to eat on the wedding day, but you guys, like, you show us the love yeah. on the wedding day. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I see someone walking around, like a photographer or DJ or something, I'm like, did you get hors d'oeuvres? Do you need a plate? Yes. It's a long day. It is a long day. You gotta eat when you can eat when you're working like that. Absolutely. You gotta get a little bit yeah. in when you can. Yeah. I know how it is. Yeah. You're working, you know, 10, 12, but you guys worked even longer than mm -hmm. that. Um, so yeah, you definitely need to get it in and we're always grateful when we're here because you guys always take care of us. Um, first look, yes or no? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Please, yes. Your first book. Um, I think that people think that it will take away from the moment of when you're first walking down the aisle, and it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's so it's so intimate when you do. I have chills right now. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> we dropped our paper. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think that. I think that more and more you're seeing couples who are reading their vows during their yes. first book or reading letters during their first book. It's and so intimate. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. I love to be over in the barn, like up in the barn, looking out the windows, looking over here when a first book is happening. I get the chills every time. Yes. It's just the two of you. And the emotions are raw and real. You don't have 150 people watching you. You're worried about, is so-and-so here? Did they come? What's my mom doing? You... Yes, yeah. It, it's so different. You have no idea. And the wedding day goes by so fast that yeah. there's hardly any moments where it's just the two of you. And that's the one moment where you guys get to say, no, we're taking 10 minutes, 15 minutes to ourselves and and just being together and enjoying that. And yeah, so yeah, I'm totally a first look girl. And we've been seeing a lot more first looks with dads. I mm. love that too. Yes. I did one here a while ago with a grandfather oh. and I was in tears. It was really sweet. Really I, sweet. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I, I, can't help. I, I love know. that stuff too. I, know. I love it. Yeah. Um, you don't have to like go deep into this, yeah. but what do you think about alcohol during the day Ooh, like hmm. before the wedding well I'm not much of a drinker um so I am <laughs> so and I'm still broaching this question yeah um as a photographer it's very hard to round everybody up for photos um if they're drinking before the ceremony so from that perspective, I like a little bit of right. sober, um, just because we've seen some wild groomsmen who can put them back and then... You know who you are. Yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> and then trying to get photos of them, it's really, really hard, yeah. um, which we do. We still get them and they're good. Sometimes they can be really funny. Um, sometimes they can be really sloppy. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, beforehand, I always like to see people take it easy. Yeah. But then afterwards, I'm cool. Let yeah. loose. Right. Have fun. I'm for it during the day, but in moderation. Yeah. 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 Perfect way to say it. Yeah. Some people just go crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've seen it all, but and just keep a handle on it. It goes by so fast. Yeah. Your day goes by so fast that like, you want everybody to, to make it to the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen a lot of people who don't make it to the end of the night, right? So. Had a groomsman leave one time at the beginning of reception. Had to go home. Yep. His wife took him home. Yep. He missed the whole thing. We've seen that too. Yeah. Sad. Groomsman asleep on the couch before the reception even starts. <laughs> so don't be that groomsman. <laughs> Moderation. Mm-hmm. Um, how many images do you shoot during a typical oh. wedding? I mean, thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, Kyle's job to come home from the wedding and go through all of the <laughs> pictures. So Kyle will tell you that I take way too many pictures. Not Kyle will take care of it. Yeah, but Kyle takes care of it. So um, I do take a lot. Um, a typical wedding, I'll shoot a couple thousand. Um, and then we deliver about 800 to 1200 depending on how long we're at the wedding um and That's amazing yeah we take very we we curate the whole gallery though so that there's not duplicates or there's not you know it's not you're not looking at the same photo we really try yeah. to capture every moment right. of your day so that you can look back and it tells a story yeah um I see a lot of photos from a lot of photographers here that are, everyone is beautiful. Yeah. I, I love every picture I've ever seen here, I, I swear. Right. But I, you know, you definitely don't notice different styles. And I, I've noticed, um, like, 
a certain photographer. All of the photos were beautiful. They were awesome. She didn't take any photos of the facility though. Ugh. So, and I, and I thought in my mind, I was like, darn, I don't have any pictures of the barn that day or the carriage house that day. And then I thought to myself, nor does the bride. Yes. Like it's all of those little details yeah. that you, I mean, we're walking into churches and, and barns and venues all the time, but that's the one, that's their one place yeah. that, you know, so yeah, all of those details, the setting, even the, even the chair set up or the yeah. arch set up, the flowers, like we want to capture all of that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that one just struck me and I had the whole catalog. I had all of the yeah. pictures, so I wasn't missing anything. So I just thought that was different. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what do you find most challenging about wedding photography? Oh. Drunk groomsmen? <laughs> Drunk groomsmen. I mean, really. Um, no, really. Come, t time to line up. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm teaching elementary kids. Yeah. With yeah. drunk groomsmen. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably, probably the alcohol. But yeah. that's, that's sometimes the most challenging part of the day. Um. But, yeah, you have ways to, to deal with that and get around it. Um, personalities is another one. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to watch, um, like, different people during the day give their opinions or tell the bride what to do. Or mm. That's hard for me. Cause See, because you are in the thick of it, whereas I'm not. Yeah. You know, I'm over there, yeah. you know, making sure the food's together, you know, Yes. Hors d'oeuvres are set up and yes. the bar is going and the staff is going and that sort of thing where you guys are yeah. really seeing what's going on behind the scenes over here yeah. at the wedding party and stuff. You know, the bride will say, oh, I want to wear this necklace and a bridesmaid will say, oh, really? And you, your heart breaks a little, you know, because yeah. it's their day. And that's all I want is for the couples to be happy. I know that you want the same. Yeah. You just yeah. want I know. the day to go well. I know. And I feel like sometimes they don't understand that when, when I, you know, something may happen and I'll in my mind I'm like I just want everything to be perfect for them yes you know absolutely. I'm not I'm not talking to this drunk groomsman about <laughs> you know the, the alcohol that he brought in that he's not allowed to bring yes. in because I'm being a jerk it's because we have a, a liquor license and a policy here or something you know yes there's reasons behind things um, and we just want everything to be smooth and to be wonderful and to be perfect and happy. So yeah, it's really what we want. Absolutely. At the end of the day for and the bride. Absolutely. And the preferred vendors that you have here and that work here, that's all anybody wants. Yeah. And that's very obvious. Like if you're ever at a wedding where there's a good team of vendors, it's very obvious that yeah. that's our, that's our goal. Yep. So how smooth everything goes. Yep. Um, what's the most memorable wedding you've shot? Oh, that's hard, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. I know it. I know, I know there was, um, oh, I hope none of my old brides watch this because I don't want to offend no, anybody. No, we love everyone. That's we like do. our brides. We love every bride, but yes. some, you just have a connection with more than another yes. or. Yeah. So the wedding was here and it was most memorable. Um, actually, I was just talking about this wedding to you a couple oh, of weeks I know ago. Oh, I yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the ceremony, like I have chills thinking about the ceremony. It was very, actually, I'm getting like a little emotional thinking about it because um, it was just so them. Um, and you could literally feel every guest, you could feel their love towards this couple. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so, so that was probably my most memorable as far as feeling something and leaving that wedding feeling like, wow, they love each other yeah. <laughs> and their families love them and their friends love them. And this was meaningful. I love that when, when the families come together, mm -hmm. when there's love the whole way around, when it's not just a wedding. Yes. When it's a joy, it's, it sounds so hokey to say, but when it's yeah. joining of families, when yes. there's 
they've been together. They love each other. They know each other. They all know each other. It's, yeah. it's, it's the best day. Yeah. And that day wasn't perfect. It, no, poured. it poured. Yeah. It stormed. It was, it, but it was, yeah, it was just, it was one of the most beautiful ceremonies I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. And there's, there's lots of memorable weddings for many, many different reasons. Yeah. But as far as the one that hit me first, that was, that was the one that I thought of first. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. How about you? What was the most memorable one for you? Can I, am I allowed to ask you a question? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm the one being interviewed. <laughs> mm. Probably my first big one when they all came from New York. Yes. Shout out to Mortis. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, they, for a few years, they would come back here on their anniversary every year and Aww. go out to dinner, and then I'd meet up with them afterwards and have a cocktail. But everybody, and that was 2017, and I had started in 2016, so it was my first big wedding, and they all came from the city. Oh, wow. I mean, salsa band, DJ, um, wedding planner, florist. Wow. And it was just party from the get-go. Right. And it was just fabulous. It was just fabulous. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. It is. But, I mean, there's so many that you have those connections with that, you know, you still, like, I just got a gift in the mail from a, a bride from last year. You know, you get Christmas cards from these brides that you have relationships with. Yeah. You still keep in touch with. Yeah. It's just amazing. I don't keep many things. I'm not very materialistic when it comes to things like that. But I have kept every thank you. Me too. Every Christmas card, every announcement, every card I've ever gotten from a couple. Me too. I love my couples. I know. I really do. And getting that thank you, it's like, yeah, I just want to cry when I get a thank you card. Yes. And they say just a little nice blurb to us that means so much yeah because you know that you did your job you know that yeah. you you accomplished what you were setting out to do yeah give them the best day ever and with me it's not just me it's everybody you know when they say yeah. that your whole staff you know the, the servers were so nice the bartenders were so nice the food was great you know when they're when they love everything here that yeah. is just amazing to me I just love that that's just such a testament to us yeah I love it that's awesome well, here's your little Ooh. special questions. You can answer as many or as few as you'd like. Up to you. Okay. How many did Cassidy answer? I'm not going to tell you. Aww. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. See, these this are is fun. a really easy one. So if you make dinner at home tonight, what will you cook? I don't usually cook. Um, Kyle is the cook, and he's like awesome cook. Mm. Um, and he is making oh tonight um yeah Chopo? yeah i've never had you've never had mm -hmm. well this recipe is actually from our good friends shout out to jen angle mm -hmm. and <laughs> adam thompson because um they gave us this recipe and it's really great and yeah whenever we go out to colorado to visit them adam Aww. makes it for us so um yeah that's what kyle's making tonight for dinner yeah I want to do another one. Yeah, you can do okay. it. Like I said, as many or as few as you'd like. <laughs> um, if you eat out this weekend, what type of food will you choose? Mm, that's a good question. If we eat out, we're usually in Williamsport. You can say your favorite restaurant. Mm, I mean, I have a bunch in, in Williamsport. I know, I was going to say, our food yeah. scene in Williamsport is so good. Yeah, it's really good. Um, usually our, like, go-to spot is the Bullfrog, Barrel 135, Moon and Raven. Um, but actually, as far as eating out, yesterday I got lunch and it was here from the barn. <laughs> That's my go-to during the week for lunch, so. Yep. Yeah. Should I do another one? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> They're fun, aren't they? They are. I accidentally picked two. Um, ooh, no. If you weren't in your current profession, which one would you be in? It would be something with weddings. Um, I love weddings. I love events. Um, and I also really love photography. So I really can't see myself doing much other than this. 
um, I couldn't handle your job. <laughs> so even though I love weddings, <laughs> I could not be in your job. Oh my God, that's, Cassidy said the same thing. Like, what's, what job could you not do? Or something was a question. She's like, ooh, your job. Yeah. You do it so well, Oh my though. God, it's so funny because I can't tell you how many people tell me I would never want your job. I would never want your job. But you love it. I love it. Yes. But everyone else is like, ew. It, it's a, that's a lot of pressure for the day of. It is. Yeah. Uh, which I I get that question a lot, like how do you handle the pressure? But I think you have way more pressure than I do, so yeah, <laughs> not yours, but something with events. <laughs> oh, are you a cat or dog person? And do you have any pets? Aww. I am a total dog person. Um, we have a lab pit mix. He's super cute. Um, his name's Henry. He's about three. And if it were up to me, I'd have five dogs, but Kyle won't let me, so. Kyle's smile. Make it I fun. don't know. How about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking dogs, yeah. Yeah. You know, we tried to do two, but Harvey's not having it. Yeah. And Henry wouldn't have it either. Yeah. He he used to have a companion, um, but yeah, he would not do well with a puppy, so. Yeah. You think that's it? You tell me. It's, how short, how long do we want this? It doesn't matter. I mean, All right, you know, one more. It's, it's, Will you pick it up? I love talking to you. I'm not even going to, well, I couldn't read it without my glasses yeah. anyway, and I can barely pick them up. <laughs> Let's see. I hope it's good. Oh, what makes you really angry? Oh, that's not good. I not a I lot. Gotta, I, gotta I mean, you know me. That. Not a lot makes me really angry. That's negative. No one wants yeah. a negative question. That's true. At this time on a typical day, what would you be doing? This is a good one. Um, during the week, we're editing. So that's usually what I would be doing right about now. I usually am pretty slow in the morning until like 10. I like to drink my coffee. Yeah. And get a workout in before like things really start. So... Right now, I'm like in the, this time of day, I'm like in the midst of editing. Are you a night owl? Mm, yeah. What are you watching on TV right now? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Ted Lasso. Oh. Yeah. That's Apple though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have Apple, so. Yeah. It looks good though. It is good. Yeah. I'm ready for the new season of Yellow Jackets though. Did you watch that? No. Sounds good. What's that on? Showtime, maybe. Okay. I have that. So many streaming services. Yeah. Are we doing one more? We're going to do another one. Okay, cool. Okay, should we make this the last one? <laughs> yeah, sure. I feel like we need a really good one. <laughs> last yeah. One. Oh, are there any misconceptions about your job? Yeah. I think that there's a lot of misconceptions about my job. I think that people um, see me on the wedding day and see all the fun parts of the job. And um, what they don't realize is all of the back end work and all of the editing and designing albums and all of the work that it takes to actually produce a really great gallery. A lot of that is the back end of it, which you know from working yeah. it alone most of the time, it can get lonely. Yeah. Um, Kyle and I have separate spaces to work because we're with each other a lot. So as far as editing goes, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah. Not as, not as glamorous as people think it would be. Yeah. There's a lot of work to that. Mm -hmm. It's not just coming and taking pictures and you're done. Here they are. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And you have to make sure you're taking the right picture because once a moment is gone, it's gone. If you miss it, exactly. I mean, there's so much involved. That's why you hire the best professional photographer also. Yeah. I would agree. We're going to keep going. I, I know. Think. They're just too much fun. <laughs> Oh, wait. Cassie been... did all of them. Shut up, did she? <laughs> she did. <laughs> um, if you were in charge of the playlist, which song would you play next? That is not a good question for me. Why? Oh, because I I'm I like a lot of alternative music. Um at a wedding? No, it's just no. this playlist. Oh, just right now? Yeah. Like, what, what song do you want to hear next? Oh, I, maybe some, this morning I was listening to some, like, Tyler Childers. 
So maybe that. But I like I like alternative Mount Joy. Oh, I love Mount Joy. Do you? Yes. yes. We were supposed to see them at Red Rocks, and I'm really bummed that the show got canceled in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like everything. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're gonna keep going. What's one food you could eat for the rest of your life? Ooh. Why did you make that face? Because that's like so many choices. Yeah. Um. I don't know. That's a hard one. What do you love? I love salad. I do too. I love that's salad. That's what I would eat. Yeah. If I could, if I could dress my salad with anything, then it would be salad all day long. Yep. I would eat a salad every day for the rest of my life. Me too. Yeah. That's what I love. Sweet. But it has to have Johnson's blue cheese dressing. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> What's one movie you could watch over and over? Mm. I don't think any. I'm a one and done. Are you? Same with books. I can read a book and then I'm done. I can't read it again. Yeah. Yeah, none. I'm not. I'm not watching anything over. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. What? Uh, when I read that question, the first thought came to mind was Overboard. Oh, never Goldie Hawn, the original one. No, never watched Love it. Love it. Guess I'm gonna have to watch that. And um, Peggy Sue got married. Uh, okay. Love that. See. When she goes back in time and talks to her grandma on the phone. Oh. You could just. Grandma. Watch it over and over again. Yes, I love it. Ooh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Everywhere. I would get a van and I would live everywhere. <laughs> um, I guess that's an answer. Yeah, yeah I would. Either, I would. Yeah. I would not pick one place. I would live everywhere. And if I have to answer the question right and pick one place, I would probably pick Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go to Hawaii. If you won the lottery, what would be your first big splurge? Your van. My van. <laughs> so that I could go everywhere. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Nice would, it, would it be a van or would it be a motorhome? Oh, it would totally be a van. Okay. It would be a huge Sprinter van that would be You don't all need that motorhome. No way. Mm -hmm. Kyle and I can do it in the back of a truck take the truck and go cross country we don't need we don't need a big big camper oh no who would you swap lives with for the day i don't think i would swap wild lives with anyone um i can't think of anyone i like my life very good yeah Mm. Who's your go-to band or artist when you can't decide on something to listen to? Mount Joy. Always. What's the best thing about you? Um, <laughs> that's a hard question. Um, that is a hard question because I couldn't say just one thing about you. Oh, I couldn't say just one thing about you either. There's multiple <laughs> things. You know what I mean though? I would say my ability to stay positive when things are falling apart. Yeah. You could probably not say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> you have the ability to stay rational and reasonable. Sometimes being positive isn't the right move. Um, if you could sit down with your 13 year old self, what would you say? That it all turned out good. Oh, that it's going to be okay. What's your spirit animal? Um, a mountain lion. Mm -hmm. What is one thing you can't live without? Kyle Merriman. Nah. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I love Kyle. Um, my camera. If it's a thing, not a person. Um, what could you give a 40 minute presentation on with absolutely no preparation? Photography, all day long. Um, if someone offered to tell you your future, would you accept it? Absolutely not. No way. I feel like this is like speed round. Did Cassie really do them all? Yes. Okay, cool. Where is the most interesting place you've been? You're answering them quickly. That's why it's speed round. Uh-huh. Um, interesting place I've been? Oh, Hawaii. Yeah. 
it was actually a lot more interesting and there was a lot more culture when you got out of like the touristy areas. Yeah. Where did you go in Hawaii? We went to Kauai, like the northernmost island, mm -hmm. the least populated. Um, yeah, and a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. What's the farthest you've been away from home? Hawaii. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Ireland. I don't know which one. Oh. Yeah. Ireland. Yeah, that might be six one just... half dozen the other. Yeah. Flight to Hawaii was, or a lot, the flight to Hawaii was a lot longer, yeah. so I'm assuming it's further. Um, what do you wish you knew more about? Mm. Oh, maybe how to be a DJ. I wish I, I wish I knew how to do that job. I think that I think that if I ever did get out of wedding photography, maybe I'd be a wedding DJ. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be so much fun? You would be so much fun. And a female DJ? I we... think guest DJ. I think um, I think we need to do that. We need to make that Ask happen. Eric. Yeah. Ask Eric yeah, if I, I can. I was going to say, Eric. Mm -hmm. um, what job would you be terrible at? Maybe being a DJ. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> um, DJ. Guest DJ. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you prefer summer or winter activities? Um, I love, love, love to hike. You would think it would be a summertime thing. I love to hike in the winter, though. I love to be in the snow. Um, what's the worst fast food restaurant? I don't like fast food, so all of them. Yeah. I love all these questions <laughs> and answers. I love learning about these people. What's the best sitcom, past or present? Uh, the Office. Definitely. Um, do you have a secret talent? A secret talent? I don't know if it's a secret, but I do yoga on the regular, which people don't assume that about me. Do you have any nicknames? What are they? M. People call me M. Do you have any pet peeves? What are they? Mm, mean people? Um, what's your favorite TV show? Uh, The Office. <laughs> How do you spend your mornings? Drinking coffee, doing some yoga, and going for a walk. Um, what did you want to be growing up? I wanted to be a teacher. Me too. Really bad. Me too. Like, I don't know what happened, but... I even took one year in college for early, early education. Did you? Early I didn't know that yeah. about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we would have made good teachers. I don't know about that. For me. That. I, I, don't, I don't love children. Yeah, <laughs> you and me both. That's a secret. <laughs> oh, what is the biggest risk you've ever taken? Uh, definitely opening up my business. And the support that I got for that was incredible. I still am in awe of everybody who has supported my business since day one. If you had a chance to eat dessert for breakfast every day, what dessert would you be your go-to. I don't like dessert, so <gasps> yeah, cheesecake maybe, but oh, not a dessert person. Eat dessert every day, all day. <laughs> if you could only store one type of food in your pocket, what would you carry? Can I put a salad in my pocket? <laughs> um, maybe a salad, or <laughs> I'd try. Mm, I like cheeses. Maybe a cheese it. If you were in a circus, which character could you be? I would not be a clown. Ooh, maybe like tightrope. I think I'm a little too big for that, but no, I you would could do that with your yoga experience. I bet you could do that. Maybe, but that's what I, I would, would be the ringleader. Oh, you would. You totally would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we should start a circus. <laughs> I have one started. <laughs> what is one thing you should never say at a wedding? Um, just one. Yeah, if there's just one. I don't like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> if you could go back in time to any point in history, when would you visit? Mmm. Maybe the 1920s, 1930s. Mm. Yeah. Which
Would you rather be invisible or have x-ray vision? Oh, I would totally rather be invisible. Right. Like, I'm like, correct. Right? <laughs> like, the stuff that we've seen at weddings, if you could just stay in that room a little bit longer oh to see some of that stuff. How long could you go without checking your phone? Oh, weeks. Really? Oh, oh weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that answer because... It's difficult getting a response from a text. I hate Emily. text messages. <laughs> I hate my phone. Ask any of my That's friends. True. That's true. I could go without it. Sometimes our, our friend Jen will call me and be like, have you heard from Emily? Is she okay? She hasn't responded to my text for days. <laughs> Should we check in on her? <laughs> this is very true. If I could go without a phone, I would. Like, I, I don't. Wish, I wish I was like, but I can't. Oh, I How do people reach out to you just email oh, I love when people reach out with email yeah I love me it. too I love email too prefer email yeah. yeah I can keep track of everything yep, that's why. I check my email every day yep. like phone text message I, I forget I don't email like is it. just easier for us to keep track of all of our conversations though absolutely yeah. absolutely so if someone says hey uh, remember that I need that fourth table over here over there I texted you that two months ago, yes. and I'm like, oh my gosh. But if it's in an email, I have all of that. Yes. And especially the week of the wedding, that's we're concentrated on your wedding, yeah. the week of the wedding, that we can go back through all that stuff, and yeah. it's like a lot of fun yeah. to like be able to not be organized. Yeah. Yeah. That's very helpful. What talent do you wish you had? Mm, Tightrope walking, I guess. <laughs> DJing. <laughs> yeah. If you could be any age, what age would you choose? Maybe I'd go back to 17 for a night. The edge of 17. One one day, but that's one it. One day. Maybe two. What makes you most proud? Oh, my, my business. Did you save this one for the last? No, why? Is what makes you the happiest? Photographing weddings. That was perfect. Yeah. That was the last question. This was the best. This, this was the best. This was a lot of fun. See? Yeah. I told you it was going to be easy and fun. Just yeah. sitting and chatting. I love it. I love this idea. I'm so glad that you had me. This was Aww, wonderful. I'm so glad to have you here chatting. And I could just sit here with you all day long. I know. Me too. This and this great. is why you want Emily at your wedding. Because this is her personality. She's easy going wonderful you want her taking your pictures and you want her by your side Aww. all day long well thank you thank you i love you so much i love you too thanks for having me you're welcome